Hey everybody, it is Scott Colbranson. It is time for Touch Em All, our weekly trip around the hottest stories in Major League Baseball. And can you smell the grass, folks? Can you smell the hot dogs? Can you taste the cold beer or pop? Whatever it is you drink, it's baseball season. It's officially underway. I know here in the United States, it's going to be Monday, but they kicked off the 2024 Major League Baseball season in Seoul, Korea, the Padres and the Dodgers. And that's going to be our first stop as we touch them all here from Sports Not. The Dodgers, after their billion-dollar spending spree, demonstrated their formidable lineup's power in an impressive 5-2 win against the Padres. By the way, did you see the hit go through Jake Cronenberg's club uh, glove at first base? Wow. It was highlighted this game by clutch hits from Mookie Betts and the guy, Shohei Otani. The Dodgers' late-game rally in Seoul set a high bar for the season. The star-studded team is living up to the hype through one game, of course, ready to tackle the enormous, enormous expectations placed upon them. It's World Series or bust for the Dodgers. There's no question about it. And yes, opening day starts in Korea. I was kind of bummed about that. I'd rather have it start here at home. But hey, folks, baseball season is upon us. All right, we go back out to Arizona, the Cactus League, and we go to Reds camp. Concern arose with Matt McClain's shoulder injury, casting doubt on his opening day appearance schedule. Despite this optimism that the Reds have shown around McClain getting healthy, he shows signs of improvement, but they're just not sure whether or not he's going to be able to make Monday's opening day roster. We'll see. Adding to the Reds' spring training woes, Hunter Green's performance has been less than stellar with a challenging outing against the Angels, marking a continuation of his spring training struggles. And this Reds young team, a lot expected. A lot of folks even thinking the Reds can win the NL Central, but they need their pitching to hold up. And guess what? You look at Hunter Green, he is an important piece of that. He needs to be ready. So together with McLean's hopeful recovery and Hopefully Green can get it straight before the season starts. The Reds uh, and that fighting spirit with that young team, they're ready to hit the ground running. We'll see how it impacts them early in the season. Big free agent news. Guess what? Blake Snell finally, finally finds a home. He stays right in the NL West. The San Francisco Giants have stolen the spotlight by signing Snell, the reigning National League Cy Young Award winner, boosting their pitching staff. Snell's addition is a cherry on top to an ambitious offseason by the Giants, aimed at propelling them back into the playoff contention. Remember, they have to compete with the Dodgers, the Padres, Rockies maybe a couple steps behind the Giants, but still, NL West going to be a tough division with a mix of new talent and the seasoned pros in the Giants lineup. They're poised for a better and exciting season, and they might even surprise folks in the NL West and and be there when it comes time to talking wild card situation. So we'll see how things unfold in the Bay Area. All right, now we go back to the East Coast. The Phillies and their fans, they had a scare as Bryce Harper was dealt with back issues over the course of spring training. But the slugger has assured fans this week he'll be ready for opening day. Harper's health is pivotal for the Phillies as they aim to make a significant run at the Braves, who you all know got better as well, and they need to rely on his leadership and prowess at the plate. So the Phillies, they're feeling good about where Bryce Harper is. Bryce Harper says he's ready to go for opening day. We'll keep a close eye on that one. Lastly, guess what? Major League Baseball, the labor scene. Yeah, we don't like to talk about labor issues in the, in the MLB, and on this case, it's been buzzing with discussions and debates as player leaders have called for change at the head of their union, the Players Association. Uh, The move reflects a growing desire among the group of players out there for a more equitable and transparent system, which would highlight the complexities of modern baseball negotiations. Things have changed significantly, and the players starting to grumble. They're not happy with maybe the way their union is representing them. We'll see how this ends up and what the fallout may be. All right. Well, there you have it. We have touched them all for this week here on the show. We appreciate you guys being with us. Do us a favor. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that notifications bell and that thumbs up. We appreciate it as well. By the way, if you need any coverage of Major League Baseball, I want to know where your team stands, what the latest news is, what's coming out of spring training. 
And to get ready for opening day, make sure you head on up to sportsnot.com and check out what we have there as well. Lots of great interviews here on the channel, by the way. Did some Yankee interviews, Reds interviews, Dodgers, you name it, Orioles. We've been talking to everybody around Major League Baseball, so check out the Sports Not interviews on that. And as always, we'll be back next week with another Touch Em All with the latest top stories from around Major League Baseball. For everyone here at Sports Not, I'm Scott Colbranson. We'll talk to you next week.